Hey everyone, it's Sean again from roarnomore.blogspot.com and I want to plug a book today which is probably the best book I've ever read on apologetics thus far and I recommend it to everyone and if you're going to college or uh, planning on going, haven't gone yet, or in college you need to buy this or get it from the library or read it immediately um, if you have not yet. It is called Always Ready. Directions for Defending the Faith by Dr. Greg Bonson. And I just have to say, I was introduced to Greg Bonson uh, last summer, or I should say this summer, uh, on YouTube actually. There was a, a lecture series he had and um, I think one of my friends had posted a, a link to it on Facebook, either that or I had Googled it. Somehow I found out about it and I watched what I thought would be a 10 minute video and then I'd be done. Ended up being about three hours, uh, three and a half hours of time I spent watching his lectures online and I was blown away. And the book is just even better. Uh, I, his style is so clear, um, it is so practical, you can use this in any apologetic situation. The beautiful thing about, about presuppositional apologetics, which Greg Monson is a master at, is you don't have to know the specific situation uh, you're in. You don't have to know what the science is about uh, the distant star starlight problem, or um, you don't have to know everything about biological evolution. There's, you name it, you don't have to know it if you know the preconditions of intelligibility. Uh, and what that means is knowing um, what the laws of science rest on, what the laws of morality, universal laws, rest on, what the laws of logic rest on. Um, every single thing that we do, we, we make an assumption that is unprovable. That's what presuppositional means. It's axiomatic. You can't prove it by science or any other means. You just assume it at the outset. Uh, the laws of logic are like this. They're not conventional. They're something we just assume, and we assume everyone else is going to function on those terms. You can't see, touch, taste, smell, um, or hear the laws of logic, but you know they exist. So, um, so Greg Bonson talks about the preconditions of intelligibility and how the only way that they make sense is within a Christian view of the world. Otherwise, they make no sense, especially for an atheist, but for any other worldview. Now, the way to, to go about um, critiquing other worldviews is through uh, doing an internal critique. That means going into the worldview, finding the contradictions, finding the self-refuting statements that they make. Uh, here's a couple. Uh, these are the most common ones. S science proves everything. You know, without science, you can't prove anything. Well, that's that's modernism, and that's that's wrong. It's empiricism, um, because the statement "science proves everything" is not proven by science. Um, oh, the, the most common one today is. Uh, you can't know truth. Well, they know that they can't know truth, the people making that statement. So be aware of these things. Um, there's actually you know, tons of, of those kind of statements we could go over. Every worldview that's not Christian really breaks down into one of those statements, those self-refuting statements, and that's how you um, contradict other worldviews. Now, and show them to be false. Now, Greg Bonson is very scriptural as well. He goes to Colossians, uh, every uh, no, all knowledge is deposited in Christ. He goes to Proverbs, the fool is said in his heart, there is no God. Uh, he talks about Paul in 2 Corinthians, uh, where Paul says, we're casting down all the idle speculations, not being taken away by the wisdom of men. And he shows that basically what the Bible is saying is that you have to start with God. That's your starting point, and then everything else makes sense. And so the atheist, when he doesn't do that, or the agnostic, or when you get the wrong God, Islam, whatever, you, your whole rest of your philosophy is going to be wrong. So you need to go to the, the, the starting point, the preconditions of intelligibility, get it right there, you'll get the rest right. And uh, Christianity is the only place, that, the only worldview that actually gets that right. And it's actually fairly easy to demonstrate this uh, with a non-believer. Um, there's some examples. If you go to uh, the link just below on the uh, info um, status bar, then you're, you're going to be taken to my website and I'm going to have uh, YouTube clips and, and interviews and things that, that show how you can use this in a witnessing encounter or something. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now just because it takes a little bit, but, but it's actually fairly simple once you master it and uh, it'll, it'll help you no matter where you go, guarantee it. I, it's bulletproof. I've used it so many times and I'm just so thankful for it. So Greg Bonson writes a great, great book. Um, he, he, it's the don't answer answer method. Is uh, answer a fool not according to his folly, but instead as his folly deserves. That's the method we use in apologetics. Don't answer according to his assumptions, 
um, his preconditions, his uh, presuppositions, answer him instead according to the right presuppositions. All right. Um, the other thing about it is just very, um, very simple to read. It's it's not. I would say it's on a college level, but it's very understandable, uh, whereas other presuppositional books just aren't. So I would recommend ordering this today. Uh, go to the link below. I, uh, there's a good price. There's some good prices um, on my website, and uh, also just a more lengthy review of it. So I encourage you to check it out, um, and uh, happy witnessing and happy apologetics.